Imagine standing on the edge of Campi Flegre, a giant caldera in Italy that has long been a subject of debate among scientists. Before you, two small holes in the Earth's surface appear unassuming, like mouths exhaling hot breath from the bowels of our planet. They are known as Boca Nuova and Boca Grande. They are only about 25 meters apart, a long human stride. But beneath their physical proximity, they hold distinct stories that have puzzled researchers for more than 15 years. Like two twins who have chosen different paths, Boca Grande is steadily warming, while Boca Nuova is showing signs of cooling. The question arises, why do two fumaroles so close together exhibit such contrasting geochemical fates? To answer this mystery, a team of researchers constructed a three-dimensional map of the plumbing system beneath the fumaroles, a kind of natural pipe system through which gases and fluids move. Using electrical and seismic methods, they discovered something surprising. The fumaroles do not share a single common path. Two distinct channels connect the underground gas reservoir to the surface. Imagine the reservoir as a lake of hot gas deep in the earth. From there, Boca Grande is connected by a channel about 10 meters wide, a large passageway that allows hot gas to rise at high speed. In contrast, Boca Nuova has only a narrow channel about 5 meters wide and is more complex. In this narrow channel, Condensate water from the hydrothermal system mixes with the gas, causing the fumarole to appear cooler than its sibling. The thermal model visualization clearly shows this difference. Baca Grande radiates consistent heat, with surface temperatures reaching over 130 degrees Celsius. Meanwhile, Boca Nova, although originating from the same gas reservoir, is contaminated by water interactions, resulting in lower surface temperatures. It's as if Baca Nuova is constantly being doused by underground rain, while Baca Grande is allowed to breathe fire unhindered. Ongoing research at Campi Flegre is crucial for advancing our knowledge of this dynamic environment and mitigating the potential risks posed by volcanic activity. This is even more true for calderas in urban areas like CFC, where nearly one million people could potentially be affected by the impacts of an eruption. Radiceism is a term used to describe the gradual uplift and subsidence of the Earth's crust. Unlike traditional volcanic eruptions, Bradicism involves gradual inflation and deflation of the Earth's crust over a long period. This movement is often accompanied by changes in ground elevation, fluctuations in fumarole temperatures, and variations in the intensity of seismic activity. We first calculate the difference between the origin times of each pair of consecutive seismic events, here and after referred to as intertime. The running average of the intertime values calculated for groups of 50 events with a shift of 25 events per step is plotted as a function of the time correspondence for the first pair of events in each group. This discovery doesn't just solve the scientific puzzle, it also changes the way we understand the signatures of volcanic gas. Small differences in fluid flow and interaction with water can produce very different fumarole characters. Furthermore, these models allow scientists to simulate the process of magmatic degassing, how magmatic gases rise, mix, or become trapped, a key factor in proving our ability to predict future volcanic activity. Ultimately, the stories of Boca Nuova and Boca Grande teach us that even two small holes in the ground can hold profound secrets about volcanic behavior. They are two mouths of the Earth speaking different languages, and it is the scientist's job to listen.